Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to share some of my thoughts about the global dimension of the real estate in Central Texas. So I want to thank uh, Christine Wren for inviting me to share again uh, this short video with you all. And I'm glad that you have a very active global community uh, in your city because Austin has been one major star of, you know, shining bright star among the metro market performance in all dimensions. So very good to share this information with you all. So I am Lawrence Yoon, Chief Economist with National Association of Realtors. So let's first go with the international buying activity. Uh, in fact, uh, we had a decline of international buying activity in 2020 and 2021, a, not a surprise given that the international travel has been restricted. People want to see the property before making the purchase, and whether it is due to the hassle of getting the COVID test, uh, those process, or in some cases, just outright restriction uh, of foreigners able to come to the U.S. has hindered some of the buying activity. But it will grow, because first, the travel restriction has been lifted. Now people can just pretty much come in as before. And in Texas, the foreign direct investment coming into the state of Texas has been quite strong whether it is Toyota bringing their, say, manufacturing of their heavy trucks uh, into the state of Texas, or in Central Texas, Tesla, Elon Musk, understanding there are many educated and a strong workforce uh, in Austin region, so bringing the Tesla plant uh, to Austin region. The military aircraft industry also expanding uh, in Austin region. So uh, the bright, Future looks bright, even though past two years have been disrupted due to the COVID conditions. If we look at which states attract the most foreign buyers, Florida is number one simply because they have the Disney World and Miami, because they draw many people from Latin America in Florida, and uh, people want to go visit uh, the Disneyland, and then they look at few property and wants to purchase, especially among by Europeans. But Texas draws more people more in a more diverse way. Due to the geographic proximity, you have many Mexicans coming in and purchasing. And as you know, the cross-border trade between Texas and Mexico uh, through the International Bridge going back and forth, uh, naturally, there are managers uh, who would need a place to live. And, and just family members who may be on both sides of the border decide to say, yes, I want to have a property here in the U.S. Also, Texas draw many people people from Canada. Maybe Canadians are seeking some warmer weather condition, so they are purchasing. Uh, but one other aspect is from India. From India, highly educated, computer technology related uh, industry. So uh, you used to be only in California and New Jersey, but now Indians are coming to Austin, along with people from China, uh, who could be from Taiwan, Hong Kong, or mainland China. So many people coming to the state of Texas in a more diversified way uh, compared to other states. But uh, Texas consistently ranking among top five and usually uh, in the number two, number two or three uh, ranking. One change related to the foreign buying is the very strong US dollar. Somewhat interesting. Dollar has not strengthened dramatically against Mexican pesos, uh, Brazilian uh, currency real, but against more advanced countries like Europe, against the euro or the British pound, it has strengthened greatly. So this will deter some of the foreign buyers just simply because uh, they are finding US property much more expensive. But one also has to understand the reason why dollar is strengthening is because people are essentially global investors view US economy to be stronger in the future compared to European economies. And to that extent, there's more money to be made in the US. And consequently, uh, some of the super wealthy people 
who don't need a mortgage may want to purchase here in the US, even with the strong US dollar, uh, because this the prospect of the US economic growth is much stronger. But one thing that has changed the real estate market dynamic is fast rising mortgage rates. So if you have a foreign client, so recent immigrants, they may be sitting wondering, are we going to face intense multiple offers? And the answer is no, because this fast rising mortgage rate has greatly reduced the strength of buyers. We know that foreigners tend to be more cash buyers. They're not impacted by mortgage rates. But recent immigrants are impacted by mortgage rates, so rising mortgage rate will make it somewhat difficult for recent immigrants to buy in the state of Texas. Uh, no surprise that the pending contracts from early part of this year has been steadily declining because of the rising rates. Always, the mortgage rates are the lifeblood, the driver of the housing market, and home sales have been steadily falling and actually sinking below 2019 levels, which also provides a buying opportunity. So rather than those intense multiple offers, much more calmer market condition, and maybe the buyers uh, would have better chance, especially the cash buyers by foreigners. Home prices in the meantime in Austin has dramatically risen. So just back in the year 2000, the median home price in Austin was only $150,000. Now you are probably saying I should have purchased many properties back then, because as you can see, the prices are essentially surpassing half a million dollars. Of course, you have all the price range from a couple of million dollar homes, uh, along with more affordable $300,000 homes, uh, but the price increases have been dramatic. Because of the price increase, some people may also wonder whether there could be a price collapse. And I would say that chance of that is minimal because we don't have enough inventory. The inventory remains very low and only time when home prices crash in a major way was back in 2008 period when the inventory levels were four times as high. And also we had those bad risky subprime mortgages simply that blew up. Thankfully, we don't have that. And consequently, the inventory is not expected to rise. And in fact, many homeowners are locked in. They bought the home last two years or refinanced in the past two years at 3%. And consequently, they don't wanna give up their home. Uh, so inventory level remains low. And even with the active construction activity, you know, you see so many construction cranes in Austin or you have seen, but despite that, there is still housing shortage in Austin market. Housing shortage means that home prices do not decline. Could it rise 5% next year? Yes. Could it decline 5%? Small decline? Yes. But I don't know which way it will go, but definitely not a big decline of the crash that occurred in 2008 or nine. And it is just as likely for a price increase as a price decrease. Here's the job market performance. So for foreigners, they're interested, they wanna purchase where there is a better prospect of more robust economic growth. And as you see on the map, when you see the state of Texas, 4.9%. So what does that imply, 4.9%? It means that in Texas, there is 4.9% more jobs now compared to March 2020, right before COVID hit. So Texas is one of the better performing states. California, only 0.8% more jobs. Florida, before hurricane, 5.0% more jobs. And then you see sort of the orange peach color states they actually are still struggling. They have not fully recovered their job losses from COVID. But Texas, one of the top performers. And in fact, if you want to look at the total number of people with job in Austin, look at this. From year 2000, when there was only about uh, 650,000 people working in Austin, today uh, it is more than 1.2 million. 
And you see that little COVID disruption in the, towards the end, job loss, but look how fast and strongly Austin has recovered. So setting an all time high in terms of job. This will provide a great support for real estate. And here's the data also uh, Christine Wren uh, shared with me. So how many new residents, both international migration, meaning how many people coming into Austin versus leaving Austin to go elsewhere. And by the way, there are some people from Austin going to other countries, especially knowing that US dollar is strong. They may buy in Mexico, they may buy in Caribbean islands. Very attractive offer given the strong US dollars. But even with some outflow, Austin still draws more foreigners coming into the country as reflected in the uh, orange line. The green shows the domestic migration. How many people from Illinois, Chicago region moving into Austin? How many New Yorkers moving in? How many Californians are moving in? So very positive. And in fact, it is the top metro among all the uh, major cities in the US. The negative is Chicago and New York and LA, but the positive is Raleigh, North Carolina, Orlando, Florida, and top number one, Austin, Texas. So this is the reason why the real estate market will continue to perform well uh, in the Austin region. So the foreign dimension, clearly important. Foreign job creation, or I should say foreign companies expanding in the US, they are choosing Austin as their location. Their managers may be coming from Japan, may be coming from Germany, and they want some residents in Austin. So you have to be prepared to pick up the growth in the global real estate demand coming to Austin. Thank you very much. <music>